The dust has settled on the 2024 State of Origin Series, a famous win for the men from New South Wales. But now, as all good things come to an end, that being State of Origin, it is now time for the final third of the 2024 NRL season. It's the race to the finals. And because I haven't talked about Clubland for quite some time, which is my fault, I think I'm going to do a video where I talk about who's actually playing finals footy in 2024. But before we do that, let's bring back a classic because I haven't done one it's magic and it's time for my round 21 tips so this is where you can find out all the spoilers for the round of footy ahead the wars return home to take on the tigers and the warriors well they're still in touch for the top eight the tigers they're doing whatever they can to avoid a third straight wooden spoon but as good as the tigers have shown in glimpses they are still last for a reason and the warriors well they are desperate to win they've been very unlucky in the last two weeks obviously they should have won last week so i'm gonna tip the wars and i'm gonna tip the wars 13 plus Hopefully they can make a statement back at home because holy hell, the New Zealand Warriors have been so much more loyal than probably any other fan base would be. The Eels taking on the Storm. Speaking of teams vying for the wooden spoon, it's at Parramatta and that means absolutely nothing. A few years ago, the Eels were the bogey team of the Melbourne Storm and maybe they can do it again, but without Mitchell Moses, there's absolutely no planet on earth where I'm tipping the Eels to beat Melbourne. So I'm going to Melbourne and despite it being at Parramatta, which kind of means nothing anymore, I'm going to take the Melbourne Storm 13 plus. On a Super Saturday and a cheeky smoky for match of the round, the Doggies, they're looking to try and stay in the top eight. Well, the Broncos, well, they can only afford to lose one more game before the end of the regular season. And I'm sure they don't want to blow their load this early. But it is a very rare Saturday, 3 p.m. The whole NRL world will be watching this one. And I am shocked at how favorites the Broncos are. The Dogs have been close to unbeatable at a core stadium this year. They know how to win the close ones. The Broncos, Broncos have all their troops back. It is kind of an interesting game because for the Bulldogs, it's a massive test. But in saying that, they're higher on the ladder and have been in much better form. Despite all of that, there's a reason why I was so high on the Broncos in the preseason. They've got all their troops back. And as good as the Bulldogs' defense is, their attack has been a different story. Defense wins premierships. I do think that the Bulldogs will probably be in finals footy this year. But the Broncos, they're going to score points. It's just a matter of how many. They're getting their troops Troops back. Adam Reynolds loves a course stadium. And as good as the dogs have been, a short turnaround after three absolute wars, I'm going to take the Broncos 1 to 12. Another game with huge finals implications. The Cowboys, they're looking to stay in the top eight. The Sharks, they're looking to stay in the top four, especially with the game that comes up next. Cowboys fall into the teams that are sort of in this top eight jam where you just don't know what to expect each and every week. There's a reason why they've got the most origin players in the competition, but there's also a reason why they're barely in the top eight. They do have a buy in hand. The Sharks will be without Nico Hines. 50-50 this one. I know what to expect from the Sharks, but I just think if the Cowboys can play as good as they did against the Dogs last week at home, I know the Sharks are coming off a bye, but I'm going to take the Cowboys. I just think they're going to be a bit more desperate. They're at home, and I think without Nico Hines, the Cowboys just maybe have a few too many points in them. Match of the round, the battle for the top four. The Roosters with a loss, they fall out of it. Manly with a win, they go into it. But if Manly lose, they are in danger of falling out of the top eight entirely. They that is how close the comp has been this year. And the Sydney Roosters only have one win against the current top eight team. And that was against the Bulldogs during the origin round. Manly got the wood over them back in round two. But that was a gritty win at Brookie Oval. And the Roosters love beating Manly. Whether it's at Allianz or the mighty SCG. If Joey Manu is in, that's going to be a huge in. Because Manly's outside backs are dropping like flies. But they are getting their forward pack back. And despite how good the Roosters forward pack is, I guess they're missing JWA as well. So this is probably going to be the match of the round. The Roosters, they're going to be in big trouble for falling out of the top four if they can't win this week. Whereas Manly, if they want to stay within that top four, then this is probably a game they need to win. Obviously, I'm tipping Manly. Manly have had two really good wins. They have been over the Knights and Titans, respectively, though. The Roosters will be wanting to shut a few people up because the critics are out on the Roosters, and that's only going to fire them back up at home in what should be a very good crowd. But I'm tipping Manly. I just think they've got the strike to worry the Roosters. That's why Joey Marner will be a huge in for the Roosters, especially when it's likely that Ben Turbo will be the one who has to defend him. But Brooks and Tommy Turbo have been in some 
and great form. If DCE can find the form that he had around Origin Game 1, then I just think Manly may have too much strike for the Roosters. The Roosters are deservingly favourites. Most people are going to tip the Roosters, but if you don't think I'm not tipping Manly, then you're living on another planet. Sunday kicks off with the Dragons. They're looking to do the double over the Panthers, despite last time it was during the Origin round. Nathan Cleary came back and was clutch as ever. Hard to see the Penrith Panthers losing this. They bring in all their Origin players who will be full of confidence and are in red-hot form. Going up against the Dragons, who do need to win to stay in the top eight. And if they get this, the Dragons, then they put themselves in an awesome position to play finals footy. But it's the Penrith Panthers, so I'm going to tip the Penrith Panthers. Big game for the Finns as they go up against the Titans, who should be fired up. Desi Hazel will not be happy that they got pumped in his return to Brookie. Well, the Dolphins, they've been on the start. The only win they've managed to get in the past month or so was against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And while they still sit in the top eight, currently in seventh, they do have that extra buy. So they've still got to play one extra game more. This feels like one of those games where if the Dolphins win, it keeps them on track, whereas they drop it, it could be absolute disaster. I'd love to switch it up a bit and tip the Titans here, but I just can't back the Titans. The Finns haven't been great themselves either, but at least I know they're going to be gritty, and especially at home. I'm expecting a big one from the Dolphins. I'm expecting a big one from Katoa, and I expect the Hammer to perform a miracle. And finally, the Raiders. Well, they take on the Rabbitohs. Now, both teams currently sit just outside the top eight, but both teams have had all their buys this season. So this becomes another little smoky for match of the round because this is essentially final footy coming early. Still no Latrell for South Sydney. And of course Jack White returns to Canberra. So this has got all the makings of a classic. Why is it on at Sunday 6pm? I will never know. But this should be a cracker. So much at stake. Jack White returns. Finals footy come early. I dare to say that whoever loses this, especially if South Sydney lose this, there's just absolutely no chance they play finals this year. I know what to expect from the Raiders. I sort of have a feeling what I can expect from South but no Latrell Mitchell is a huge loss for South Sydney, not to mention all the other players that they've been missing. And if the Raiders are ever going to win a game, if they're ever going to play how Ricky Stewart coaches his side, it's going to be up against Jack White with a point to prove. Because I'm sure they would have been loving the fact that he went to win a premiership, took less to go to the Bunnies, and look how their season's played out. So Saturday and Sunday look to be huge games with finals implications ahead of the 2024 final series. But ladies and gentlemen, there are my round 21 tips. I'm taking the Warriors 13 plus, the Storm 13 plus, the Broncos 1 to 12, the Cowboys 1 to 12, Manly 1 to 12, the Panthers 13 plus, the Dolphins 13 plus, and the Canberra Raiders 1 to 12. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your tips for round 21 in that comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you, of course, in the next one.